Hello, hello there. My name is William, my co-host Corey. We are The Real Guys, and this is The Real Show with two ears. Jump on Air Force One and fly over northern Finland, but watch out for Ray Stevenson. <laughs> He's a sneaky man. <laughs> as with me, as always, is my co-host Corey. How are you doing, Corey? I'm doing very well, thank you. Excellent. And as always, you can watch us on our video version on The Real Show YouTube channel, The Real Show, Real with Two E's, or you could listen to us on any audio platform, Amazon, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to us, we are there as well. Corey. Hello. The next two episodes are going to be favourites of ours. Yes. And nothing says favourites like sizzling Sam Jackson. Exactly. Right? For the people who maybe listen to us for the first time, or yep. for the few times you know we've been doing this over the last three years, uh, sizzling Sam Jackson was a trend that started <laughs> some time ago. It was a while ago, yes. Mm -hmm. What um, the origins of? Uh... We were doing uh, a movie versus. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which one specifically. I think uh, it, was it wasn't actually. It was a good film, bad review. I said sorry. Yeah, it was doing a good film, bad review. I think just a normal show, not specifically. We did one for Star Wars and Marvel mm -hmm. separately, uh, and Shaft. Was, yes. was one of the options. It was which shaft was it? Three shaft. Films, Those three shafts. The original shaft. Yep. The reboot shaft in the two thousands yep. and the twenty twenty something I sequel. The Netflix one. Shaft. Yeah, yeah, the Netflix shaft. Uh, and the review said something about film lacks sizzle. Yeah. Well, has no sizzle. Yeah. To which uh, I responded, "It's not going to be any of the latter two because they've got Samuel Jackson in it, and Samuel Jackson is a, a man of sizzle." Yes. Yeah, I think the I think the quote was um, that you say. Samuel L. Jackson has a lot of sizzle. It's a lot of sizzle. And I ran with that. Yep, I mean, and it's Sizzly Sam Jackson. He was to Sizzly Samuel L. Jackson. So we always call him Sizzling Sam. Sizzling Sam. Exactly. Sizzling Sam Jackson. And no, he's been in, in many, many a film. He's been in quite Jurassic a few. Park, Jurassic Park. Fiction. Yep. Star Wars prequels. Mace Windu, obviously. And he's, he's starred in 2014 yes. in Big Game. Yep. And obviously we've reviewed Star Wars before. Yep. With Mace Windu, isn't it? We've we have done reviewed. All the we've we have, done all the prequels. We have reviewed Jurassic Park. Yes. But we haven't reviewed a film that stars Samuel Jackson in in the forefront as a pretty much leading role. Yeah, yeah, as the main character, as a main character. He's top build. He is top build. We've got Big Game 2014, the action adventure film by. Jam I don't want to get his name wrong. Jalmari Helander, Finnish screenwriter and film director. Uh, this is. Quite a big export from Finland. Yep. The, the the most expensive, the biggest Finnish film ever made. We have a uh, big game starring Sizzling, Sizzling Samuel L. Jackson. Yep. Take us through some of the early early beats of the story here, Corey. So it starts off uh, in Finnish. Uh, there's a little boy uh, who's called Oskari with his dad. And his dad's sent to look. Hit we're in like, we're in like a little hut and all these pictures of his hunters. Um, and they've got a, like some kind of animal on their back and it's like right this is your turn now you're the next one on there um, and essentially it says that this kid is going to be sent off and he's got to hunt some kind of big animal and bring it back because mm. if he does that then he's a man yeah. and we find out a bit later on when he's 13 he gets sent off and his dad's like here's a map that X go there it's guaranteed to be deer there go there and the kid's trying to do deer calls um, so all that's going on Right, nice little set piece in Finland. It's all in Finnish at this point as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, then it cuts to uh, a plane and you see someone suiting up. Oh, yeah. We're getting ready with suiting up and you're thinking, oh, here comes the president. No, mm -hmm. it's not. And it cuts. No, it's, it's Ray Stevenson. It's Ray Stevenson. Uh, rest in power, Ray Stevenson. As Morris. Great, great actor. Um, we, of course, know him from, again, another Star Wars property, yep. Ahsoka, uh, where he played uh, Jedi Master Balan Skull. But also he's been in... Uh, Loads of things. He was in uh, one of the G.I. Joe films, Dexter. Uh, he was in one of the Thor films as well. Um, quite a few. He's, he's a renowned actor yep. and an amazing man. And there's many points in my notes where I just kind of <laughs> stop noting and just write down how awesome Ray Stevenson is. Yeah. There's several points in my notes where I put, oh, Ray Stevenson's so awesome. Oh, Ray Stevenson is so good, man. <laughs> Oh, Ray Stevenson's great. You know, I just I just write down how awesome Ray Stevenson is. I just love it, love Ray Stevenson. But yeah, he walks in, mm. uh, and then we see the actual president, Samuel yes. Jackson, just kind of sat. President Bill Moore just sat on a chair, lazing down in like he's lazing, slacks. He's, looking at, he's, he's <laughs> Sam Jackson, the president, and he's reading a newspaper that says "lame duck president" yep. or something like something nondescript. It's bad for him. Oh, it's so, very bad for him. He's a bad term president. He needs to do something. Is he a Democrat or a Republican? <laughs> let's not get political. No. But he's of a political party. Is, is, is there a political say. party? 
and he's he's fed up because he's, he's everyone's stabbing him in the back. Yeah, and he just wants to eat a biscuit. He does. And as Ray Stevenson says, life's too damn short not to have a cookie when you want one. Yeah. And I wrote that down. Nice, very pillow. nice. Yeah, I'll have that on a pillow. Uh, but unfortunately for Samuel Jackson, mm. uh, Ray Stevenson's also going to stab him in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Can't catch a break. Yeah. Uh, as they fly <laughs> over northern Finland, we see very nice locations. It's, yes, and very nice. A lovely, beautiful forest. Yep. Beautiful wooded vista. Beautiful mount, mountain scape. But that's mountain scape. range. You see at the start of the film, there's a group of hunters. And the oldest hunter says, now it is time for the youngest to go and prove themselves in the woods, in the forest. Yep. And Oscari goes up and he can't even work the bow. He can't, can't draw the bow. He can't draw it, it fully. It's tough, yeah. But they send him away anyway. Yeah, his dad persuades him yeah. to, to let him go. His dad is such a renowned hunter, yep. such an amazing hunter. He had his picture taken in 1968. Wow. With his... Mm. It's like a bear. It was, his, a, no, po- it, it was, it, it was a bear. Yeah, it was a bear. It was a bear. Yeah, a big bear. So his, his son, Oscari, wants to find the bear as yep. well. So in the, in the plane... We see there's a bit of a, there's um, some shenanigans going on. Yes. As Ray Stevenson's walking through the plane, checking on the pilots, and there we see as as a helicopter is flying, and they land and they've got a, a tour helicopter, but it's these nefarious yes. men, these men of you know yeah. da- dangerous dangerous fellows. Scary men. Sc- yeah, very scary men. Scary men. But it's what makes a scary man? Uh, intimidating presence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stoic, calm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe a giant missile launcher. Well, well, and that. Make a scary yeah, movie. and that. Yeah, uh, they bust out the <laughs> missile launcher and they decide to send this guy running away and yep. then use the missile launcher to test it, to blow the guy up. Yeah, uh, and then they go, right, okay, cool, because this works. Oh, yeah, we're going we're yeah, gonna to yeah. shoot down Air Force One. Shoot down Air Force One, that's right. Because I've got someone on the inside. Mm-hmm. The man on the inside, but who could the man on the inside be? Oh, could it's... it perhaps not be the president and the man, only man that's interacting with him? Perhaps of a high billing? <laughs> yeah, you know, also the guy the president's, like, forcing to retire at this point, I yeah, think, as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, And the guy that said he saved the president's life yeah. by jumping in front of a bullet for the president. Yeah. yeah. That's not going to come back later. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson's, um, says he's missing his shoe. Yeah. He's got no shoe, which I think could be a, maybe, perhaps Big Game is the start of this, but in uh, his post credit scene in Spider-Man, uh, I think one of the, the the third one, or maybe not the third, the second one, Far From Home, when Samuel L. Jackson gets off the spaceship, uh, the scroll ship, his first quote is, where's my shoes? Which could be a reference to this. They, they fire their Chinese missile yep. at Air Force One, yep. and the, terror, the terrorists... Uh, attack first one, they blow up the planes and it's going down. Yes. So they've got to uh, get Samuel L. Jackson to the escape pod and jump out. But yep. then Ray Stevenson, sh- shock, yeah. has disabled the parachutes. It's disabled the parachutes, it sends everyone off without a parachute. Yeah, he does a cool backwards parachute jump, though, it does. which is nice. He does like the, the full back um, and then parachutes down. Parachutes down. Misses all the missiles. Thankfully. Yeah, yeah. Because he's so awesome, the, the sheer power of Ray Stevenson's <laughs> badass... The missiles go round him. Yeah, exactly. It's like a force field. Yeah. He, he's going to be impregnable <laughs> by the, the missiles. They, uh, and then he lands, and then we see the, the pod has also landed in the forest. Pod has landed in the forest. Where is scouting for this, yes. for this uh, deer, or this bear. Do you, have you seen the trailer for this? I have not. Okay, let me tell you a story. Okay. Um, oh, get cozy. I went to go and see, yeah. I went to go and see, strange enough, it was probably another film with Samuel L. Jackson in it. It was probably Captain America the Winter Soldier. Very nice. Uh, I went to go and see, probably around 2014, the same time this film came out. And they played the trailer for this film. And the trailer is just the burning wreckage of Air Force One crashing into the woods. Powerful imagery, right? The plane, yep. the, the smoke, and all of it hitting all the trees, and Oscari getting down, you yep. know. And... I was at school at this time. Okay. And one of the exercises we did at school was, we had to, cre- I don't know why, I think it was an English class. We had to create, like, a film plot or something like that, right? And we wanted to make, like, an Independence Day, right? Okay. An alien invasion type where the world unites against this extraterrestrial yep. threat. And we thought we needed actors. And we thought, who could we cast as the president who will be a powerful US president and lead the defense <laughs> of, the, of the planet Earth against these alien invaders? And who do you think we picked for it? Uh, oh, I think, yeah. Denzel Washington. No, no. no? Get the guess again. Uh, oh, who would have been a, a nice... Wesley Snipes. Wesley no, Snipes. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> a blade. Blade. <laughs> Vampire alien, you know what? Yeah. I want to see vampire yeah. alien. Not Wesley Snipes, no, Blade specifically. Blade, just specifically Blade, <laughs> the hero Blade. He's been elected as president. 
<laughs> I'm assuming you yeah, picked, picked Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, we did. We picked Samuel L. Jackson as our president, and we called him, and I remember this name because we've simply Googled it, we called him Jedediah Dalton, because we Googled cool-sounding American names. Great. And we picked them up from a first name and a surname. Great. We created US President Jedediah Dalton, who's going to lead the defense, he's played by Samuel L. Jackson, who's going to lead the defense of Earth against these aliens, right? Yeah. And this is a long-winded context to get to the point where I was sat down in theatre to watch Captain America Winter Soldier, and I saw the plane crash, and say, here comes Samuel Jackson, and he's the president. And I looked to my friend Caitlin, and I went, it's President <laughs> Jedediah Dalton. Wait, this is like a prequel. <laughs> Maybe this is a prequel to that <laughs> to that alien invasion film that I made in when I was in, I don't know, I mean, year the f- five, The year film six. sets itself up for going somewhere. It does. I don't think it ever does go anywhere. <laughs> No, it doesn't. I was going to talk about that. The <laughs> ending is like, uh, oh, no, the bad guy, Jim Broadbent, the, yeah. the evil, nefarious mastermind, he's got away, and he's murdered Victor Garber, the, the vice president. How is how are they going to build on this? Oh, goodness. Is, like, Ascari going to come to Washington, D.C. and, like, help uncover the, the presidential <laughs> conspiracy? No. I Googled if it had a sequel. It does not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll talk about if could I, what we do for a potential sequel. <laughs> so... Uh, this film's about an hour and a half. It is. It's actually quite, it's quite it's, a decent it's length. It's quick and easy. It's yeah. quick and easy. Good action. We've got... Um, he's un- he's uncovered... The president is uncovered by a scurry. They yep. have to journey together to... They do like a big... They don't do like a big circle, I guess, but they go from where the wreckage sort of crashes into the water and they yep. do like a go around back to the wreckage again in the water and they go in there and they, and they look. But Ray Stevenson confronts uh, the president when they find that Ascari has found a big old fridge. Yeah, it's big, got, what's got, in that big old fridge? It's got a big old fridge and it's a note from his dad saying, happy birthday, because like we say, it's, when you're 13 years old, you go out into the wild. Mm. Uh, but his dad's promise on the X, which was, there's bound to be game here, there's going to be deer, was technically true because in the, in the fridge is an already hunted deer for his son to bring back mm. To look like he has killed this animal, yeah. so he doesn't have to do it himself. Mm. And, he, and Oscar's not happy about that. No, he's not. He he's wants not to do it himself. He wants his independence. He's like, oh, my dad's giving me a cheat out. Yep. I, I'm not happy with this. It's like my dad doesn't believe in me. And so Samuel Jackson's like, here's an American flag pin. Yeah. You've rescued me. Rescued you me. You saved me. I yeah. believe in you. It's an important thing. Yeah. He's great, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, he's fantastic. He's so shining in this. Because he's given time to, you know, it's a small cast. Yep, it is a very uh, small cast. Yeah, and we barely even see, you know, Victor Garber and the yeah. vice president Jim Broadbent and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I did mention that uh, Jim, Bre- Jim Broadbent is putting on an American accent. He shouldn't be. Mm. Because you, when you hire Jim Broadbent, you don't ask him to be an American. No. You know, you give that man his British accent. Yeah. It could have been easily explained. Yeah. They say, oh, this guy's the top analyst for the NSA. You know, we flew him in from England. Yeah. And so he's an English man. That's I fine. mean, he, he does, because like I say, he comes in, he's like, oh, he's, he's, been, he's been off for ages, we brought him back in. And it's like, okay, yeah, sure, why not? And he um, knows suspiciously a lot about this terrorist heist. He does. Because he comes in, and he walks in, and he's like, right, oh, okay, here's, here's what's happened, right? Man on the inside. Uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, he's so cool. Terrorist. This, yeah, man on the terror- inside. This terrorist leader is like, he's like the son of a great oil dude yeah. or baron or whatever. And he's an, he's a psychotic man. And he's going to be a, like, you know, he's a real bad, he's a real bad case, this fella. And I'm like, hmm, Jim Broadbent, you know quite a lot about this And like, the, the vice president's like, well, how would it work? And he goes, oh, okay, we've got money inside. He'll disable this thing. They'll yeah. then shoot it down. Oh, yeah, you can get... They must you can only try, Chinese yeah, missiles. Chinese missiles. They, they can reach. They can certainly yeah, reach. Yeah. I'm thinking, right, okay. They're just skipping the like plot of figuring out who did it and going straight into the action. Cool, fine. Yeah, and obviously yeah. later on it's revealed that no, he was part of this all along. <laughs> yeah, and so was so was Victor Garber. So was the vice president. Who I exclaimed was in this film. Uh, I I put the I, I mentioned the trailer was burning wreckage of Apple's one. Then yep. I write in all caps with the like, mark. It's Victor Garber from Legend of Tomorrow and everything else. He's who done. becomes president for about ten seconds? Yes, he does. <laughs> uh, there's a there's several parts in this film where we get interesting action. You want an action set piece, yep. right? Uh, the terrorists, including uh, Ray Stevenson, who tells Samuel Jackson, you got to cock your gun. Yep. you got to cock it, he says, before you can fire a gun, because Samuel Jackson can't shoot Ray nope. Stevenson by firing this... Because he doesn't know what he's doing. No, no, he doesn't know. He's never fired a gun. Because Sam Jackson's a very unfit president. Mm-hmm, mm, he is. He's what, as in he, what, physically unfit? Physically unfit president. And mentally unfit as probably, well. Probably, he, he, just, he just wants to relax, have yeah, a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's how you get the Oval Office, you know? He, 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 he peed his pants. Yeah, he did. He did. That's the story in this film. 
And you know what? That is a good moment. I quite like it's that. Humility, story tellers, you know. And he even says, like, oh, if you watch it on YouTube, you'll see that I'm holding the papers in front of my crotch so I don't show everyone that I've peed myself. I really wish, as, like, part of, like, a ad campaign, they filmed a scene. They said you oh, filmed yeah. that and just popped it online. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you could just Google it and just find the clip. No, oh, that would be funny. I'd yeah. like that. A L- little piece of, like, in-world part in, of the yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, that's great, that kind of stuff. They could, like, show it at the end, of, at the end on the credits. Or that. Like that, you know. <laughs> show him, I don't know, not him watching it, but just, like, the clip of that happening, you yeah. know. I like, I, like, I like that type of thing. And then you can clearly see his Peter's pants. He's a fish out of water, <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, he is. you say. He's a fish out of water in this in this forested environment. Again, the shots are really lovely. It's very you nice. You wake up in the morning, yep. you see the great mountainscape of northern It's Finland, lovely. You see the beautiful snow-capped peaks, the rocky outcrops, yep. all of that. Samuel L. Jackson wakes up to the sound of a deer, yep. which isn't a deer. No, no. I love the fact that doing the noise. I love the fact that Oscar just keeps saying it's a deer. Ooh, ooh, or whatever it goes like. It's something like ooh, that. I'm gonna hear your deer noise, Corey. What is it? Do it again. Now I'll try and join you in this. Okay, okay. Give me a give me a deer. You gotta go. Ooh, ooh like that. Was it like that? Was, was it, it was it like I don't know. Was like a, I'm trying to think if because yours is quite long. You're doing like a woo woo. That's kind of what you're doing. Yeah. Was it more of like a? I don't like more like a deeper noise. Go on then. Like give a, me an example. Woo, 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 was it like that? Woo, I don't know. If only woo, I had like recorded. Not bad. I think. Day's gonna be coming. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> a right door. Jump through the window. <laughs> that bus. That scene video. Of that bus. It breaks through. How to do a deer noise? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to Google that. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> he says that the, the freezer with the deer and it's cheating. So here comes Ray Stevenson. Yes. And he stuffs Samuel Jackson yep. into the freezer. So they pick him on the, on the helicopter and they bring him through the forest. And we get our action set piece where Oscari is jumping onto the top of the freezer. Yes. Trying to save Sam, Jackson, to save Sam Jackson by getting him out. And then they lower them into the forest. Thought, Why don't you just joke, both jump out? Yep. But Samuel Jackson doesn't want to jump out. So he has to hold on. And they both get in and they start opening fire on the freezer. So they... They roll, and the story Samuel Jackson says is, you got to look tough. You don't have to be yes. tough. But then, now Oscar says, now it's time to be tough. And he rolls down the thing. And then Samuel Jackson says, is this your idea of being tough? <laughs> Hiding in a frown in the box. Fun fun moment there. Yeah. Um, they, land, they land in the water, and that's how they get to the wreckage of Air Force One. Yes. And I imagined that maybe in another film, I don't know, this was like a... Your kind of epic action tale of uh, two hours, two hours and a half. What they probably have to do was, um, I don't know, if I was a Hollywood screenwriter and I was getting paid an inordinate amount of money, I'd want to put something in the middle, like a sort of segue section mm-hmm. before they get to the climax. Yeah. They just go right to it. Straight after in the there. Bridge bit. Straight in there. Straight in there. Straight in there. Uh, there's a slight bit of ADR when the main terrorist jumps down into the, is fighting Sam Jackson yep. in the the watery wreckage of Air Force One. There's a bit of ADR where after the deer noise, again, if you, if you, wait a minute, ooh, 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 you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, there's a bit of ADR noise where the terrorist goes, what's that, what's that noise? Or something like that. Where you can tell his mouth isn't moving when he says yeah. that. He's just, he's just trying to fight Sarah Jackson. He suddenly turns and goes, what's that noise? And then Oscar goes, it's a deer. And then here comes Sam Jackson. He gets the kick. <laughs> he gets the, the kick, gun. grabs the gun. He says the catchphrase. Yep. And then, he got he guns down the terrorist and then the day is saved. Yes. I I was waiting the whole film for him to say those two words. Yeah, and he does. <laughs> and it's a, such a great like of all the time there's there's minutes and minutes of compilations of Simon Jackson saying that word. Yes. And that is one of the best it's, it's underrated that it message. Is. Because it calls back to the film, it calls back to uh, Die Hard as well, Die Hard Two that Sam Jackson was in. Yep. Where there's another story of him failing to load a gun correctly, but Ray Stevenson said it to him, so it's a callback. He goes, "You gotta cock it." Insert In words. Dark. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> uh, but it's not over yet. No. You've got to lift out yep. of the of the of the airplane fuselage, and they get on the top there. And here's Ray Stevenson, and he's trying to he's trying to get him as well. And the point is, he can't fire an arrow, but Oscar no. has to pull back. He does it. He, sh- he, he fires him, it, but it like just hits. Richard it just like, bounces he's, off his chest. He's fine, but then the shrapnel from the bullet impact. Oh, oh! and Ray Stevenson does falls again and falls into the water. 
and they're rescued by the Chinooks yep. arrive in the village yep. to save the president. And even and even the president says to his his dad, says, "Ah, you must be his father. I've heard you are a great hunter." Because <laughs> he says to him, "He's the most famous hunter yep. in their sort of sort of commune." Now, Corey, yes. what were your thoughts on on the finish action big game? But perhaps before we get to your thoughts, we can get to some big big game big trivia. Give us some trivia for you. Right, okay, here's some trivia for Big Game. Uh, you are correct with an eight and a half million euro budget. It's the most expensive Finnish film ever. Mm. Uh, Ascari is the real life son of Ascari's father, Tapio. We also played Father and Son in Rare, es- Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale, which came out in 2010. Um, writer and director Jalmari uh, Helander initially wanted Mel Gibson to play the president. They got a better choice with uh, Samuel yeah, Jackson. Yeah, they did. Uh, out of all, no, I'm going to pre- uh, paraphrase this one a little bit. Out of all the PG-13 rated movies Samuel Jackson has appeared in, this is the only one to permit him to use his trademark word. <clears throat> he has notably never said it uncensored as Nick Fury in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? The Escape Pods film resembles one used in Air Force One from 1997. Uh, several other Finnish actors in this movie were also in another Jomari Herlander film, A Rare Esports Christmas Tale. Yeah. Film cast includes one Oscar winner, Jim Broadbent, and two Oscar nominees, Samuel Jackson and Felicity Huffman. Oh, fantastic. And Samuel Jackson and Ray Stevenson previously appeared in The Other Guys 2010, but we don't share any scenes in that movie. Okay. Some trivia for great. you. That's great. Uh, amazing, amazing trivia. Amazing trivia. But perhaps with that budget, we could askew to our other segment. Oh, God. <laughs> how, much, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? you got to say like, you got to say, how much is it? How much is it? This is where I tell you the budget, and Corey has to guess the box office. Yeah. Now, with a budget of the Finnish currency, which is the euro. Yes. Thank you. I know that. For 8.5 million euros, that they estimate it's that's a 10 million dollar budget. Yeah. How much did it make back? We're talking dollars here. Maybe I'll get the euro take, but feel free to speculate. So the film overall was eight and a half million euros. Mm-hmm. Now, I I don't know um, how much this is going to make uh, compared to the other films we have done. How much is it for, uh, including Terminator and other various films that we've done? Um, I don't think it's going to be that high of a of a uh, netback. Mm-hmm. Now, it didn't have a sequel, and like we say, the film certainly gears itself to have a sequel. Um, by the ending of the film, so I'm kind of feeling like it maybe didn't make back any money um, because there wasn't a sequel. No. Um, I also have never heard of this film until uh, looking up what to watch for this week, and I was looking up Samuel Jackson films, and this one yep. caught my interest. Um, you had seen the trailer. I had seen the trailer, but I had never seen the um, um, film. So I did know when you first brought it up to me. I yep. did know about it. Yeah. So I remembered seeing the trailer, and I know that story of myself, and. I know there's a film where Samuel Jackson plays the president uh, and did this film, but I don't think I'd ever seen it uh, in full. Yeah, but it has a decent cast, mm-hmm. uh, so it has names that can pull in money. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much it got shown over here either, which is obviously probably going to play a bit of a factor into it. Mm. Um, so I'm going to say it probably didn't make it back, but I will probably say it would be close. So I'm going to say about seven million. Somewhere very, in that very, ballpark. very good guessing there by Corey. Thank you. It's seven point five million. No, is that dollars? Yeah, yeah, dollars here. Yeah. So it's not bad. I mean, in fact, did that? It what? Comes what's to a seven? I've got this on. Thank you, uh, boxofficemojo.com. Nice. Sponsored by IMDb Pro. Says that uh, the the worldwide take okay. was uh, seven million and four hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. Dollars. Yes. What's that in euros? Or what's eight? Some, what's eight million? Uh, that's something. Uh, eight, I don't know how good you are on conversion. Uh, five zero zero zero. Ten. That'd be six thousand or less, unfortunately. Mm. That'd be six and a half, six and a half million euros. 
So yeah, so I didn't make it back. Because it's down. Well, I don't know. Um, with adjusted for inflation, what would that be in 2014? That's true, actually. Yeah, exactly. You've got to adjust for inflation, Corey. That is true. It's got a, to get into the... I don't want to start you know, a finance uh, show, <laughs> but the highest exchange rate of 2014 was only 0.825%. Wow. On the 31st of the 12th, so that was the end of the year. Fair enough. Uh, the, it was 1 US dollar to 0 0.73 euro. So I don't understand. This is like stonks here, and I don't understand this kind of stonks. thing. Stonks. 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 <laughs> what a callback to stonks. Stonks, yeah. We should do a stonks. I put my head on a stonks meme. I like, st about I, the euro. I like stonks. Yeah, the euro, euro dollar conversion rate. Stonks. So for 20, in 2014, maybe it'll be more. Maybe we'll need more. But it only showed, I don't think this is accurate. In, uh, it only showed in 11 theatres across the US. Is that it? 11. Huh. So the, it says it only had a domestic, this is dollars, domestic okay. of 24,000. Wow. Which is small, which is which is quite small. Poor big game. Well, hopefully it's on Netflix. It was it was in the top 10 when I looked at it. It was in the top 10 when I looked so at it as well, yeah. we'll see it and we'll, we'll recognise it. Yep. That's the hope for big game. A life. Some some of these films have life after death. You know what yes. I mean. Some of these films have have continued lifespans long after. Let's give big game a real rating. Yep. Then I'll move on to my weekly rec. Okay. Corey. I enjoyed this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's like I say, it's an hour and a half. It's nice and quick. It goes straight into the action. Yeah. Um, you get a little bit of backstory about uh, Ascari uh, and who we are. But it's pretty much straight into the action. The president needs to be saved, uh, action, and action sequences. So I really enjoyed it. Mm. Um, is it like fantastic and, and incredible and groundbreaking? No. But is it fun? Is it action packed? Is it a good time to watch? Uh, I'd say yes. Would I go out and watch it again on Netflix? Probably not. But what if it was on TV, on like I don't know Sky Movies or whatever other channel you can get? Um, they're all going out of my head right now. Mm -hmm. Five USA, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I'd probably sit down and watch it. I For me, it's, it's all right. So I'm going to give it about a seven, maybe 7.5. Okay. It's, it's, it's fairly decent. It's good I was going to go for an eight. Nice. But I will... I don't want to bring it down, so I'm going to keep eight. Okay. I'm going to keep eight. I'll go 7.5. Strong cast, good action, good one-liner, quick one-liners. Yep. This could almost be... Mistaken for not a finished film, but an American film. Yeah. You know, Sam Jackson, the big president of the United States, needs to be saved by, you know, this is the type of thing someone will come up with. Yep. And and it is only in finish for like the very start yeah, of the yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, it's only finished for the very start, and it's fine. The Americans do a little bit of reading, you know, this, yeah. isn't, this isn't Godzilla minus one. Yeah. You know, you can do a little bit of reading at the start, and then here comes Sam L. Jackson and I, you know, it kind of switches gears, and that's the point where it turns into that more, you know, fight to survive action film, and I like that. So I will happily give it an eight out, an eight out of ten for yep. uh, the reels. Now let's go to my weekly rec. Yes. Now there's only one man that I can <laughs> give this weekly rec to. Okay. And enough, it's not Sizzling Sam. It's, okay. Jackson. Is it Ray Stevenson? It is Ray Stevenson. Okay. <laughs> it's gotta be. It's gotta be Ray Stevenson for another length of a film. It's not an hour. It's not an hour thirty. It's an hour forty three, and it's two thousand eight. It is. Punisher Warzone. Punisher. Punisher Warzone. About the Frank Castle, the Punisher. Nice. Uh, played by played by Ray Stevenson. Fair enough. So it's got to be Punisher Warzone. This is the film where he is the main character, much like Samuel L. Jackson, the main character in uh, in Big Game. And we've got Star Studded Cast here. We've got Dominic West. Nice. We've got Wayne Knight. You know Wayne Knight? I didn't know that. And Wayne Knight. Yeah, I like Wayne Knight. Uh, friend, not friend of the show, but. Uh, <laughs> Somewhat connected to the show in a okay. weird way. Colin Salmon is in this from, I want to call it Dark Book, but it's Night Book. That's Night Book, yeah. Night I was going to say, how, how, where are you getting a connection from Yeah, because we interviewed Alex Lightman, the, did. the director of Night Book. Um, and Colin Salmon stars in Night Book. He does star in Night Book. Yes, yeah. Something we have both watched. <laughs> watched, uh, yeah, pl I don't know. I both, guess it's both. Thing, you know, yeah. Uh, but Ray Stevenson stars as Frank Castle in... Uh, uh, let me read the bio. It's, let me read the bio. Okay. And you'll get. You'll get the point here. Frank. Let me put on my my radio voice. Frank Castle, known as the Punisher, ruthlessly demolishes organized crime, but it starts an even bigger war. I don't know what. I don't know why Vinnie Jones is suddenly reading this, but he is. <laughs> Could you imagine doing that voice for the whole hour? <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe we should at some point. We've both got to stick to an impression. Yeah, but then we talk about what is your most reliable impression that you can do I don't for know. Like a continued amount I, of honestly, time. Honestly, I don't know. Probably that. <laughs> generic, generic, like, action radio presenter. What? Ray Winston. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a word with you. Yeah. Let me tell you. How many reels are you going to give it, Corey? I don't... Honestly, it's hurting my throat now. Exactly. I don't think I could do... A, a, like, I couldn't do Arnold for, like, a whole hour. I, I'd, I'd lose it in about two minutes. <laughs> and then you just... Then it'd be like... <laughs> you're like a cartoon character who can only say one catchphrase. <laughs> so you just... Throughout the episode, you'd just be... You'd just be smattering in Arnie catchphrases. <laughs> like, I'd make a point or something yeah. like that. And you just... Rip, respond to me with do it now <laughs> exactly <laughs> get to the chopper yeah Corey how many reels would you give it uh I'll be back I'll, I'll be back <laughs> exactly oh alright Sonny I want to have a word with you my weekly rep this week is giving you a knuckle sandwich how many how many how many knuckles five what was that <laughs> five <laughs> Or ten, if you want double. Because <laughs> you can't make a fist with only three fingers. I guess you can. You probably can. I think this is a reliable impression. It might hurt me in my <laughs> yeah. picture, but it's a reliable impression. Maybe you could do Borat for, for, for 50 minutes. I could not do that? Borat for 50 minutes. Hello, welcome to the real, the real show. I'm doing very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. My... <laughs> We are with Corey and Murray for the real show. I don't know why I'm suddenly becoming a Dalek. Yeah, you, you just like, break kick, get up. That's what you're doing. You're, you're, you're now turning northern. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, <laughs> I want to do real shit. That's, that's how you do northern. You just shorten it to the most. Yeah. That's why uh, t- two becomes t- Yeah. <laughs> want to go to market. Go to... <laughs> Apologies to anyone who's northern. To line, to witch into wardrobe. Yeah. It's all right. We're East Midlands. We don't yeah, have, it's fine. We don't it's have fine. an identity. We're, We're in the middle. It's fine. Northern. Is that, does that make it okay so we can make fun of... Uh... We can make... We, 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 we have mixes of both. Yeah, yeah. So we can make fun of Southerners and Northern people. Exactly. It's all fine. All on the table. Because we don't have an identity because we're in the middle. We just steal yeah, from... We do have an identity. The Northern people have an identity. Well, no. no the Midlands, Midlands don't. Have an identity. Nottingham. Not to, okay. Uh, <laughs> Mansfield. G- great. Manchester. Manchester. Okay. Birmingham. Now you. Yeah, mm. <laughs> well, no, Birmingham's in Midlands, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. Have you ever? Would you have, not have, have you ever been? We've got to find out about this here. Have you ever been? I have been to Birmingham. Yes. Was West just... Midlands. West Midlands. Okay. We're, okay. We're fine. We, it counts. It counts. Did you have a good time in Birmingham? I did. Yes. Would you go again? I w- well, I, I probably will. Okay. Because I go to I go to Birmingham Comic Con every year. Ah, okay. Fair, so, you fair, well know, fair enough. Fair enough. So I do end up going. I mean, I never go outside the NEC, but you how know, come? Even though it's not well, that's where the Comic Con is. Well, why why not go round town? Go round. This is the second time you've said this. I know it is, yeah. Where's your obsession with going around the town? I don't know. Why do you, do you want a night on the town with me, Corey? Is no, that, no, I don't. I want to. I want to stay in. Okay, but you want me to go out? Is it like a threat? <laughs> you telling me you want to go out, sunshine? Right. I'm going to take you outside. Back to the impressions again. <laughs> Let's take this outside, sunshine. Let's go to Birmingham. Let's go to Sherborne Wharf. What? Yes. <laughs> It's a canal in Birmingham, apparently. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's go to Bristol. Okay, yeah, Bristol, yeah. That is, would that count? Now we're getting into geography. I did history yeah. at GCSE, right? Okay, right, okay. You didn't do geography. Did you do geography? Uh, no, I didn't. Great. Because my geography teacher was scary. Mr. Skelton. He oh, okay. Was a, he, was a, he was a fearsome fella. Right. You know? I like, don't want to do geography with him. I liked my geography teacher. Oh, right. What's your though. geography teacher called? I can't remember his name. Oh no! I had Mr. Gel for history. Mr. Gel? Yeah, that's his name. Is he got gel in his? Is he guy called that because he's got loads of gel in his? I don't know. That's just his actual last name. How did you spell? Is it G E L L? I think so. Okay. I got gel like how you spelled hair gel. I don't think so. His first name was Lawrence. Okay, Lawrence. <laughs> he sounds like some kind of romance novel character. I used to call it, well, yeah, not, not just me, but we used to call him. How do you know first name? I don't know if someone found it out. Oh, yeah, people do, don't we they? We used to call him the Beast. Because he looked like <laughs> Mark LeBert. Mark LeBert! <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard he, lo- he looked like actually. a slimmer version of Mark LeBert. All right. But Mark LeBert now. He has slimmed down, actually, yeah. Modern day Mark LeBert. Modern day Mark LeBert. 
You know, you know, he's not actually called Lebet because he's not called the Beast because he's big. He's called the the Beast because Lebet is Beast in French. Oh, okay. I can say because he's got loads of knowledge. No, well, I guess so. <laughs> but people assume he's called the Beast because he's like really big. He's really big. He's that like, intimidating. Beastly. Intimidating, yeah. But he's actually called the Beast because his surname Lebet oh, is uh, Beast in French. So there you go. Very nice. Bit of trivia there for you. I was actually watching the chase a couple of days. Really? <laughs> we always get on the chase. We always somehow. go to the chase. Yeah. How do we do this? <laughs> So is Mark LeBet as well. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or Sean Wallace. Or <laughs> Sean Wallace. Yeah, there's a new chaser now, you know. Which one? Dar- it's Dora Ennis. Dar- Darwin and Menace Ennis. Menace, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you think of him? Do you think he's... I like him. I, like, yeah, I think I he's good. Yeah, I think he's good. Nice quips. That's good. Yeah, who's your favourite chaser? I think Underrated, f- Paul Sinner. Cinnamon? Yeah, Cinnamon. I, yeah. like, I like the Beast, I yeah, think. Yeah. I quite like him. Shout out to the women, by the way. Yeah, yeah, the women. Yeah, them. Jenny and, and uh, Anne. Yeah, yeah, good for them. Well, uh, the Beat the Chasers is all the rage now, you know. Oh, the Beat Chasers is great. It's great, it is great. I like it when it's regular people. I think when it's celebrities, yeah. the, the, it's sort of diminished a bit for me. Because, oh, you know. I, again, I love money to charity and all of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm all up for money to charity, more money to charity. But whenever it's a celebrity, like, oh, I kind of know you already, you know. Yeah. I want, like, you know, something that can enrich the lives. You want, of, like, the random grandma, random grandma that's going to take exactly. on, like, all of them. Who, who wins 50,000. Yeah. That's the story I'm into, <laughs> a, a right? Every Every single like one of them. Jonathan Ross not knowing what potpourri is or whatever, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but did I, did I give Punisher Wars on a rating? No. Okay. Uh, I will Well, give it... Vinnie Jones did. Oh, yeah. Vinnie you Jones. did not. <laughs> Vinnie Jones, what would you give uh, Punisher Wars on? Punish, Punisher Wars... Sorry, my voice weren't working there for a minute. <laughs> Punisher war zone. You got war, you got zones, you got the Punisher. All right, I'm a hard man. I make hard bread like the Punisher. I'm going to punish you. That's what I say. That's my catchphrase. Okay. And I'm going to give Punisher war zone. Vengeance has a name. That's the catchphrase of the film. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. Great. In fact, no, I'm going to give it a 6.5. Oh, okay. No, actually, no, I'm going to go back and give it a 6. <laughs> okay. I'm very indecisive. Can't make his mind up. But you know what? I also am. What? I'm indecisive. Wow. So I like to slice my bread. When I make you a sandwich, what kind of sandwich do you want? Cheese or ham? Which way does Vinnie Jones slice his sandwiches? Is it diagonal or across? Or down? Across. Oh. Because you can only slice it one way from, from point A to point B. Slice it across, just like I slice my my enemies. Oh yeah! <laughs> I know I've suddenly become the Kool Aid Man at the cool end. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> or LA Knight. Or LA Knight. Yeah. Or LA Knight. But this was our review of Big Game. Uh, it's been a fun ride, and also I've I've not made a a joke that. Punisher Warzone, or, or wait, no, actually, not Punisher Warzone. That the chase is limited to big game because you're being chased in the film Big Game. Very nice. There you go. Very nice. I want to see a sequel to, to 2014 film Big Game <laughs> with the chasers from the chase in it somehow. Okay. They're like a gang of of Mark Lebet is yeah. to go after Samuel L. Jackson. You got the Beast. So where the chasers are actually chasing. Yeah, they, yeah exactly. I want the chasers actually chasing. It should be like a Hunger Games, but it's narrated by Buddy Walsh. <laughs> But wait, so who are the hunt to who's fighting who? So the chasers are just chasing down everyday people <laughs> narrated by Bradley Walsh. <laughs> I like how you've gone from the film plot here and you've yeah. made a new reality show yeah. that is like sort of the so, Hunger so Games. Bradley Walsh is like, do, oh. they, do they just, I won't want to be chased by Mark Levet. Pa- <laughs> Paul like... Sinner's hunting down Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> He's closing in on Margaret. <laughs> it's like it's a horse race. Yeah. It's like Oh, Margaret he's tripped him up. He's coming up on the inside. He's coming up on the inside. Paul Sinner. Margaret's... Spear. Spear. <laughs> Margaret's tripped him up. Oh, my God. That's JR. Ah, oh, wait a minute. It's Giant from the Gladiators. What are the Gladiators? <laughs> it's gi- It's what is... Who else is in there? I can't remember the name. The Gladiators. The Awuga. That's one. Yeah. That's, no, a, no, that's, that's the, the Gladiators gladiator catchphrase. I don't know who the other Gladiators are. Viper is Viper. He's the awful one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there's a couple Tornado. of... Tornado. Shit, that one? Thunder, I don't know. Thunder, Typhoon. I think, is one. I think one's called Typhoon. Maybe. Look, thank you very much for <laughs> listening and watching our review of 2014's Big Game with Sizzling Sam Jackson. Yep. You know what, Corey? What's your favourite Sizzling Sam Jackson quote before we end? Um... 
gotta be. I mean, I, there's, there's loads of well, items I like. Well, yeah, there's one I can't say. Now, the Pulp Fiction monologue. Yeah. Well, I will strike down upon thee, great vengeance and furious anger. Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the law when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Or the other favourite Pulp Fiction one. Does he look like her? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Does he look like her? <laughs> I'm super fly TNT. <laughs> I love all that kind of stuff. But I think it's got to be Jurassic Park, hold on to your butts. Very nice. Hold on, hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. I always say that. Thank you very much for listening and watching. It's a goodbye from me. Goodbye. And a goodbye from Corey. Goodbye.